Hi, everybody. This is Bailey, and she is a Morky, which is a Maltese Yorkie mix. And she has a fan on her because I'm trying to get her face to dry. As you can see, I got the fan going. And I'm going to finish blow drying her. She just had a bath and she is at the groomers today getting groomed. And I'm going to put my mask on and finish blow drying her. Her mother brought her a cute little Christmas outfit. And I'm going to put that on her when she's done getting a haircut. I hadn't planned on making a video with her today, but I was thinking, so I didn't videotape her bath, but she got a bath and she got conditioner. I'm just cleaning my blade off here. She got bath and conditioner, and she is going to get a, a three blade all over and just a nice, short, trimmed face, not shaved. And her mom said to leave a little hair on her ears. She'll get her nails cut. And her ears cleaned. So we are going to get started. I just got to make sure my blade is cleaned out. Use this little toothbrush just to pull out anything that's stuck down in the teeth of the blade. So her mother brought a Christmas outfit, and I thought, after I washed her, well, wouldn't that be cute to make a video out of? So we don't have the bath part, but we have her outfit, and looks kind of big, but I don't, I don't know. It might fit you. Is that yours? They like to smell their collars and their outfits. So anyway, I thought it would be cute just to show her haircut, even though I didn't get the bath part. Um, so I'm going to dress her up at the end and it will be cute. I have a really cute idea I'm going to throw by you guys and you guys can let me know what you think. So I'm making, um, I'm making sublimation mugs, which means that I can print pictures on like coffee mugs. And I had an idea. I'm going to take a picture of the dog when they're done being groomed and I'm going to offer coffee mugs with a dog's picture on it saying grooming day. I think that is a great idea. And I'm going to take, I'm, you know, I'm going to dress them up and take their picture. And then the owners, they can buy a coffee mug with their dog's picture on it on grooming day. And it'll have their, it'll have their name. Like, Say this dog's name is Bailey. It'll have her picture with her bandana. And I'm going to set up an area uh, for photography. I'm going to take their picture and print it on a mug. I think that's a great idea. And I can also put it on tote, tote bags too. Because I have a dog bandana shop. And I'm open, that's open on Sunday. So I'm going to start, I'm going to start making coffee mugs with the dog's pictures on them. Personalized. Let me know what you think of that. I mean, I would want that. If I took my dog to a groomer, I would want their picture, you know, saying grooming day with the name. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put in a picture right up here to show you guys what I'm talking about. So these long-haired dogs, they have a lot of hair on their poo-poo area. So her mother said, make sure I shave her poo poo area very good so i'm just shaving under her tail with a tin blade get all this hair out
Lift her leg and shape. Oop, I gotta take my glasses off. Shape her whole belly. The inside of her back legs, you want to take all this hair off. Because you know when they pee, they pee all over their legs. Shave her whole belly out, the private area, and the inside of her back legs. You can see there's just a, there's just a bald strip here, so it's nice and clean. Being careful not to uh, scrape the skin with my blade. Taking my slightly curved scissors and my comb, and I'm just going to trim up her tail, just round off the end of it. Fluff it up and see how it lays. And round it off. She's going down her leg with the three blade, the same blade I used on her body. And I'm getting ready to trim up her feet. She's a very good dog. The only thing she does not like is the blow dryer when she's in the bathtub. But besides that, she does good for everything. And she's also getting her teeth brushed today. I'm just trimming under her belly and under her legs. I'm combing all of her hair to the side. Just holding her foot, trimming along the sides just to neaten them up. Because she's so small, it's hard to take the clipper down her leg. So I, I go down the clipper, I go down with the clippers, but then I have to come back with the scissors and trim everything up afterwards. I'm using my slightly curved scissors just to round her feet up and trim between all the toes. Now I got my clippers and I'm going to cut her nails. She's very good for this. She doesn't mind at all. I'm done with her body and I'm working my way around to her face now. I'm going to go ahead and trim her eyes. Make sure she can see where she's going. She's combing it all down. And just trimming across her brow here. I'm going to take my tin blade and shave out the corners of her eyes. Trimming up her ears. Just trimming around the edge. 
use my straight scissors for the back part here. This spoiled little girl is also getting her teeth brushed. So I'm going to get my toothpaste, toothbrush, and brush her teeth. Open up the back. Get the front. Teeth don't look too bad, actually. Get some more toothpaste. She's probably, I think she's 12 years old. I wonder if she's had them cleaned professionally because they look pretty good. Because usually older dogs, their gums are all red and swollen and their teeth are like half gone and missing and falling and loose and falling out. Also, when I'm done brushing her teeth, she'll also get a spray of breath freshener. I spray a little breath freshener because she can't gargle. I'm just going to spray this around her gums. Sorry. There we go. She is ready to go, and I'm just going to spray her down with some conditioner. Wipe her down with a baby wipe. She did very good. And I'm going to get some water and just wipe her face off, because I think her eyes are still a little bit dirty. She's got a little bit of eye crusties in there still, so just wipe this out. You can't really get shampoo around their eyes in the bathtub, you know, to get it clean. So I always come back and wipe them out. And I'm going to use a flea comb. She's got some eye crusties in here still. Just going to use, well, it's a lice comb. Pull a little eye booger. There we go. We got it. That just pulls that out. Okay. Are you ready? Let's dress you up. Let's see. I'm going to get a bandana. She's going to get a tie on. Let's see what we got. We got Christmas. Do you want a Christmas bandana? I think I messed her face up. So let me take a little bit more off her face first. She's got a little piece right here. Hold on. There we go. Okay. So first, I'm going to put her outfit on. That's your outfit. Take this off and dress you up because you are on TV. You're a movie star. Put this back on because you're not allowed to jump off the table. Hold on here. I think it's going to be a little bit big. Maybe not, actually. Put your foot in there. Yeah, it's a little big, but that's okay. It's cute. <laughs> All right. I dropped the bandana on the floor. Hold on. Let me shake this off. So I make I make the bandanas for all the dogs that are groomed here. And I do have an Etsy shop where I make dog bandanas. Crazy dog lady. Bandanas on Etsy. Just making sure these feet are nice and neat. All right, this is your Christmas bandana. You want to smell that? Yeah, it's going to make you pretty. This one has a little diamond in the middle. And it ties on. Spoiled, rotten. I should make, I should make bandanas that say spoiled, rotten on them. Actually, I might do that. Okay, tie this, and you're going to go in the back and wait for your mother. <laughs> I'm doing all of this for dogs. Can you believe it? Well, why not? I mean, dogs are the best. Thanks for watching. I will see you on the next video. Let's go.